And if not... What you're looking at is the Toyota Mirai. This is the fuel cell car from Toyota. We're in Southern California at a very interesting hydrogen refueling station, which gets um, its hydrogen from west, waste uh, methane as part of the uh, wastewater treatment process. So it's 100% renewable hydrogen. But this is the car, and uh, we've just been driving it around Newport Beach, California, and it's, uh, you probably see some Prius DNA in this car, and that's not uh, accidental. There are a lot of Prius parts, the motor and the battery system and a lot of the control system, the entire hybrid system really has been adopted from the Prius. And uh, let's take a look at the interior. There's a fair amount of Prius uh, in the interior as well. There you go. This car is about nine seconds, zero to 60, so it's not a road rocket or anything, but it's fairly fun to drive. And it's pretty quiet. You can hear a little bit of uh, compressor noise, um, a little bit of the fuel cell, which is directly under the seat, so it's uh, part of what you hear as you drive, but on the whole, it's quiet. It's a lot quieter than a Prius and even quieter than some electric cars. And range is about 300 miles on a tank of gaseous hydrogen. These are going on sale uh, in the U.S. at a price of $57,000. There will be some incentives. That's a little unclear exactly how many incentives. There will be, though, here in California, there's a $5,000 buyer's rebate, which is a nice thing. And uh, the main challenge will be getting more and more stations like this one here, this hydrogen station. Uh, right now, there's about nine or ten of these in California and very few anywhere else. And the biggest challenge will be getting more uh, hydrogen available. One of the things that Honda, uh, excuse me, Toyota announced uh, in debuting the Mirai is that they will be installing 12 stations in the Northeast in 2016. Uh, and that will be a start because there isn't really much of an infrastructure there right now. So this is the uh, Toyota Mirai. It is really the first mass production intent uh, fuel cell car on the road, so it's exciting to see and exciting to drive. Jim Motivale reporting from Newport.